Have you ever, ever dated a single parent, be it a single mom or a single dad? Well, I'll be sharing with you reasons why you want to date a single mom or a single dad. And this is a two-part series. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Still Lifestyle with Janice Versatile. If you are just stopping by, please subscribe to this video. You want to like this vi um, video also, comment um, and possibly watch other videos, okay? Um, this is basically where we share with you lifestyle tips from the perspective of a single parent. So let's hit right at it. <music> So why would you want to date a single mother? Reasons you should date a single mother? I'll tell you. Now, first of all, first, she is appreciative. Yes, she becomes very appreciative of life generally because she might have experienced life. Um, life might have actually dealt with her um, and she becomes very appreciative when life dishes out good things eventually. So you would want to see that as one of the reasons. Reason number two, she is ambitious. Because she has gone through life and life has gone through her, she becomes pretty much ambitious. Ambitious for herself because she wants a better life for herself and also for her children. So you would want someone who is very futuristic, someone who is looking forward to a great life ahead of her, right? Now, tip number three, reason number three, she's a great multitasker. Mm -hmm. You heard me right. She is very great at multitasking. She can do this and do that and do that at the same time. Ordinarily, women are known to be great multitaskers right now. Imagine a single mother who's having to take care of children, take care of the home front, take care of a job, take care of a business, take care of her spiritual life, her physical life, her emotional life, and that of the children. Oh my God, that's a lot. But yes, she becomes very great at it. Reason number four, she knows what she wants and she goes for it. She's not like, oh, whatever, you know, like, oh, okay, do you want this? Whatever, anything. No, she already knows what she wants. And um, because she has experienced life in a, a different dimension, a whole new, new dimension, she would be able to tell exactly what it is she wants and be very specific. Tip number five, she is self-sufficient. So with or without you, she could survive. She's been able to manage her emotions over the years, depending on the time she has been a single parent for or a single mother for. So she's actually very self-sufficient. She can do her own. She can be herself. She can do her own things. Of course, there will come that time when she will just need to be clingy, but still and still, she'll be able to still move forward, okay? Tip number six, she's a powerhouse. Yes, 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 a very strong powerhouse, okay? So you don't want to joke with this woman and you want to trust or entrust to her a lot. And um, well, not a lot without the means or the way without to help ease up the body, but you are rest assured that she can do it. Capiche. She is selfless, tip number seven, she is selfless. Now, um, basically, Selflessness is like her thing. For her to have gone through the stress of having to cater to even if it's just one child, two, three, or many children by herself, oh my God, she is selfless. Living her life for these children, she could have as well just walked on and walked out of the life of these children and just be by herself. But she decided to stay for them. So dropping herself, dropping every bit of herself to just be there for these children is highly, very, very important and should be appreciated, okay? Tip number eight. She takes your relationship seriously. She takes your relationship with her seriously. Now, this is mostly because she's been lacking. There's every likelihood that she's been lacking emotionally. And then when you come in contact with her, she would want to build on that. She would want because she feels as though, oh my God, someone appreciates me enough to want to date me. Oh, sure. I would want to do my best to respect and take this relationship seriously. So that's the angle she comes and she'll be very good at it. She would not take you for granted. As long as you don't take her for granted anyways, because of course she's human, right? But rest assured that she's going to take that relationship very seriously. Tip number nine. She is less likely to rush into things. Trust me. She would be she would be very careful not to jump in totally. Um, she might actually have one leg in, one leg out. And this is because she really wouldn't want to repeat of what has happened to her in her life before. And as well, she is also careful for her children because she wouldn't want to, she, will, she really wants to be sure that you're real, that you're serious about her and about her children. And she would not want to quickly introduce you into the life of her children so that they do not experience another takeoff point, okay? So you wanna pardon her, you wanna be patient with her and, um, and um, just 
take allow her take her time okay don't let her rush into things as, as she would not even rush into things actually tip number 10 she knows how to make a relationship work because she's been there before she will be a lot more careful to make sure that the relationship works you're sure you are sure that she will put in her best to making sure that your relationship with her does work okay tip number 11 she is more aware of your needs yes because she is making an effort to make sure that the relationship between you and her does work she'll become very aware of your needs um she would want to be really careful and be very proactive to making sure that both your sexual needs and physical needs and all other related needs are met you should give it up for the single mother because she is so amazing i know right okay so the last but not the least reason you want to date a single mother is you get bonus children and love did you hear me? Do I say it loud? You get bonus children and love. Yes, you do. Now, you already, maybe you do not have, but these are free just for you. As long as, as long as you love them as your own, then you are going to get not only the children that you could claim for yourself, but of course not totally, depending on the location, because here in Nigeria, you can't just lay claims easily on another man's children, except of course, um, it's been cleared out. Okay, so yes, so you get bonus children and the love that comes from the children Which is so pure so pure But you must be pure of heart to be able to benefit from this love So these are the reasons that you want to date a single mother But are you on the hunt? Do I see you being on the hunt? Hey, calm down and to all single mothers out there You are all doing an amazing job. I celebrate you so if this is the much we can take. If you're yet to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button. You want to stick to this because I'll be bringing part two on the reasons why you want to date a single parent. But focus on the dads. See you in the next video. Peace. Namaste.